For example, this patient here, where one thought that there is a pericardial effusion right here in the region of the liver, which in essence is what we call epicardial fat. What is epicardial fat? Well, it's a normal feature of the heart. Every heart has some degree of fat attached to it on the epicardium, especially in certain regions. And this can look very similar actually to a pericardial effusion because it too can appear as an echo-free space. This is a beautiful example here where you see both a pericardial effusion and epicardial fat. Now, if you have some degree of fluid surrounding the heart, you can see the epicardial fat much better. And this sometimes leads to the differential diagnosis or to the confusion that this might be some kind of a structure on the heart, a tumor or maybe some infectious material, which in essence it is not. So beware that epicardial fat can be confused with a pericardial effusion. The regions where you see the epicardial fat very frequently is right here in the groove between the atria and the ventricle. And very frequently you would see it here at the bottom of the heart and sometimes frequently also located close to the left atrial appendage. One feature of epicardial fat is that you don't see very much of it in the region of the atria. So if you have a structure there, very likely it is not epicardial fat, but something else.